Hi everyone. Uh, in this demonstration, uh, I will be showing you how to uh, translate a uh, WordPress team. Um, I've had quite a few customers in the past who have uh, experienced problems um, getting their uh, language file correctly set up uh, for WordPress. Um, in older versions of WordPress, it was a little bit more difficult, but with recent versions of WordPress, um, it's become much easier. And I thought I would uh, just do a quick video here to show you uh, to demonstrate how to uh, how to set up your translation file uh, correctly for WordPress and how to actually activate the how to actually how to actually activate the uh, translation file. Um, so for this particular demo, um, I'm actually going to be working with the quantum theme, um, which is a theme that I developed under my uh, business under my business micro themes. And uh, for this demonstration, I'm just going to keep it short and simple. I'm just going to translate this welcome back message right here. Um, so I'm just going to translate one string for the sake of this demo. And uh, so basically, when you're translating, a, you know, when you're editing a translation file, a, a, tra a translation file that comes bundled with, with a theme um, is usually uh, the strings that are contained within that translation file are strings that are inaccessible uh, through WordPress. So basically, they're strings that you can't access directly through WordPress. You have, so basically, you have no way of editing those strings through WordPress unless you dive into the template files and ch you know change them manually. Um, but the purpose of a translation file is to make it easy for you to translate inaccessible strings uh, that you don't have direct access to through the WordPress dashboard area. So in this particular case, this welcome back message is actually um, hard coded into the template files. So the best and easiest way to translate this to French, uh, which is the language we are going to be working with for this particular demo, uh, the best way to translate it is through the translation file that comes bundled with the WordPress team, uh, with the Quantum WordPress team. Uh, so ideally, what you want to do is you want to access your um, you want to access your theme uh, through your FTP. So in this case, I'm, I've already gone ahead and logged into my server, and I'm currently in the quantum theme directory. And within this directory, uh, you you'll find the languages folder. And this should be universal across all WordPress themes. There should always be a languages folder in the root folder of any WordPress theme you're working with, right? Some people might, uh, you know, name it uh, LANG, like short for languages. Um, but at MicroThemes, we, we use the full word languages, right? So this is the folder you're going to want to locate if you're working with any one of our themes. So you want to go into the languages folder, and here you're going to find a .pot file, which is a poedit file. So what you want to do is you want to take this quantum theme.pot file, and you want to download it somewhere on your computer. In this case, I've already gone ahead and downloaded it to my desktop, which you can see here. Uh, so once you download that file, it's basically just a matter of double-clicking it and loading it up in poedit. Uh, PO Edit is a, is a free trans translation software that you can download and um, and you can use to edit your POT files. And uh, you know POT files are is is the most common is the most commonly used translation file for WordPress. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's, it might be the only uh, translation format it supports. Um, so all you want to do here is double click it and load it up in uh, in PO Edit. So this is PO Edit that we have, that I've just loaded up. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do in POEdit is you're going to want to create a new translation. So you'll see that button down here. It says create new translation. You want to click on that and you want to assign the language of your of the translation file, right? So in, in this case, I want to translate this catalog file to, uh, to French. So it's already been selected here from the, uh, <clears throat> from the languages selector. So French, sorry, uh, French, France. I'm going to hit OK. Okay, so you'll notice now that we can now apply translations to each of the strings found within the PO edit file. So going back to the quantum theme here, I'm going to translate welcome back. I'm just going to jump back to PO edit. I think I actually have two of them here. Hold on. Let me just, uh, that was previously open. Let me just redo this for a second. Make sure I'm on the right file. Quantum theme pot. Okay, create new translation. French. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to hit Control F on my keyboard. That's if you're on Windows. If you're on Mac, I believe it's Control F. I'm going to paste in Welcome Back, and I'm going to search for this particular string. There it is. Welcome Back. And I'm just going to 
assign a translation to it. So I'm going to click in this box here. I'm going to hit Control V. That's the translation. And you'll see it appear here under the translation column. So I, I've now inserted my translation for the welcome back string. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press save. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. And you'll notice here that the uh, that the translation code is already is automatically applied uh, to my file. So this is actually how you want to save your file, right? You need to save it with the translation code, and that's it. That's all the file should have. So in this case, uh, since we're working with uh, with the language French, uh, it should be fr in lower cases, uh, followed by an underscore, followed by uppercase fr, right? So I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go back to my desktop, and you'll see here that PO edit uh, automatically generated a .po and a .ml file. So both of these files we're going to re-upload to the server that we don't need. And uh, let's go to FileZilla, and we're going to upload these two files to our languages folder. Okay, so now we've uploaded our French uh, translation file. So I'm going to jump back to WordPress. I'm going to go to Settings General. And under Site Language, I'm going to select French. I'm going to hit Save Changes. OK, so you'll see here that French has been activated, the French language. So I'm going to go back to the Members Area section. I'm going to hit Refresh. And there it is. So you'll see now that welcome back has now been translated to French, right? Because <clears throat> we just activated the French language. So now our PO, uh, so now our, our PO file is kicking in. Um, and it's loading any French translations that we've added to our catalog file. Right? So if you want to add more translations, all you need to do is continue editing the, uh, continue editing that uh, translation, that catalog file. Right, so let me go back to my desktop. So you would just open up quantum theme.pot. Right, and uh, no, actually, I didn't save it previously. Uh, that's not good. So, what I want to do. It's not far. Okay, sorry, actually, I think, I think in this case, we can just go ahead and edit the PO file. Yeah, so you can just continue, uh, you can just continue adding your translations to the, uh, to the PO file that it previously created. That's the file you want to continue working on when you're adding more translations. So in this case, if I go back to welcome back, right, we'll see that that, exist, that uh, translation is currently in there from a previous entry. And you can continue, you can go ahead and continue adding more uh, translations to this .po file, right? And uh, that's that's really all there is to it. I mean, it's it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, just download the PO Edit software. Just go to Google and just uh, just type in PO Edit and do a search. It should be the first link that pops up on uh, Google. Download and install the PO Edit software. It is free to use. Um, but if you purchase a license for it, you get a lot more options and a lot more flexibility with the program. So um, you know, if you if you have if you have the funds, um, I would highly recommend purchasing a license for it. If not, it's no big deal. Uh, you can you can use it um, under its free license, and uh, it should get the job done. And uh, and that's it. I mean, that's that's all there is to uh, translating a WordPress theme. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And as long as you follow these steps, you shouldn't have any issues. Um, so that's it. So if you have any questions, uh, you know, leave a comment down below. Or uh, if you have access to our support forums, uh, you know, leave us a question if you're experiencing any issues. Uh, hopefully, this video is enough to, to help you uh, get your la your translation file set up. Um, but if not, we're here to help. So uh, you know, leave a question down below in the comments or visit uh, microthemes.ca uh, slash forms and uh, you know, uh, log into your account, post a message, and uh, you know, we'll be happy to help you. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.